Today, many others around the world will raise more than 1,000 Commonwealth flags at 10 o'clock on Monday, the 12th of March. Commonwealth Day 2018. The Fly the Flag for the Commonwealth Initiative, now in its fourth year, is again catching the imagination of thousands of participants from all walks of life. Committing themselves to the values of the Commonwealth Charter and the 2018 Commonwealth theme towards a common future. This year's theme explores how the Commonwealth can address global challenges and work to create a better future for all citizens through sub themes of sustainability, safety, prosperity, and fairness, in line with the theme of the 2018 Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London. It is amazing how quickly this event has caught the public imagination in the UK and around the Commonwealth. It is only in its fourth year and the participants of so many of all ages shows the enormous potential of this project and of the Commonwealth. It is a positive and uplifting way for people to link with it and assist fellow citizens of the Commonwealth in a family that spans across oceans and continents. There is a real sense of promise and hope for the future in this current troubled world of ours. I am also delighted that the government of the George Cross Island and Malta will be taking part again this year, adding to the international aspect of this Commonwealth event. The Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations, the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland QC said, Fly a Flag is a wonderful opportunity for local communities to come together to celebrate the remarkable diversity and inclusiveness of the Commonwealth and the many ways in which the lives and livelihoods of 2.4 billion citizens are enriched through Commonwealth connection and cooperation. By working together locally and globally, we learn from one another and make progress for the good of all, especially the young who hold the future in their hands. God save the Queen. God save the Queen.